Okay, here's a heads up, people. Hopefully this will be short. I want to show you what kind of a, how do I want to call this? Shame that we Christians prove ourselves to be to Christ in the world where we have a witness and the witness of the first Unitarian, where is it? First Unitarian Church of Los Angeles. Of course, it's a Unitarian church. You would expect them to be idiots. These people are filing a suit, a lawsuit, over NSA surveillance. Now listen, if you don't believe in Christ or you're stupid, you're going to get involved in politics and lawsuits and all that stuff. But as 1 Corinthians 11, 12, and 7 explain, we are not of this world, so we don't get involved in those things. But the first Unitarian apparently never read the Bible, or certainly not the book of Corinthians, because they're filing a lawsuit over what is a legal a legal action by the National Security Agency to do its surveillance for the protection of the citizens. In other words, First Unitarian Church is making, uh, turning Christ into a political football. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be yelling. I can't believe, don't we Christians understand God is God. He's our protector, okay? If you're going to get all flapped up about what the NSA surveillance is, which is totally legal under the Patriot Act, then you have no faith in God. You are ashamed to Christ. We should be supporting the NSA, not, you know, filing lawsuits. God is your protector. He is your protector from the government as well as from other people. If you believe in God, then you talk to God. If you believe in God and you're worried about this NSA thing, then you go to God, not Caesar. I swear, if I find any of you Christians who are busy getting all nerdy over this NSA surveillance thing, I want you to desubscribe from me now. It means you have no faith in Christ whatsoever, and I don't want to be cursed by association with you. Read Romans 13. The government gets to have force for a reason. Read 1 Timothy 2. You are supposed to support the state. I don't care if this was communist China. It's up to God to move you where he wants, and you're where you are now, and if you're communist Chinese, pray for the communist government. That's your job, Romans 13, 1 Timothy 2. But we're not in communist China. We're in the United States, and we have a, a legal act that all of our Congress passed called the Patriot Act that allows the NSA to do surveillance. We should be praying on behalf of them, not filing lawsuits against them. You are a carnal, disgusting shame to Christ if you're all nervous about this NSA thing. It means you have no faith in God. Now, if it makes you uneasy, then you use 1 John 1, 9 because you're surely carnal. And you go to God and say, God, I'm worried about the government abusing its power here. Fine. You ask for God to do what he wants to do about it. You pray in Jesus' name. You say amen and you forget about it. Now, how many times have I had to tell you guys, God hears prayer. It's a nuclear weapon to protect the world and we're supposed to do it. I prayed to God back in 1990 or 1991, he answered it, but I prayed like in 84, 85, just after Gorbachev went to power. And I first heard about perestroika and glasnost, and I knew enough foreign policy, because that was my major in college, to know that this was a bad thing, it was going to hurt Russia, and I prayed to God immediately to, to get Gorbachev out of power. And on my birthday, seven years later, I was locked in a hotel room. Not locked, but stuck. And at that day, on my birthday, he, Gorbachev was put under house arrest. And, of course, God protected Gorbachev because I didn't ask for him to be hurt. I just wanted the, the whole USSR to go down. Well, he took it down. One stupid brain out believer, and I'm not better than you. If he's going to do that for me, what do you think he's going to do for you? So if you've got a problem with what your government is doing, whatever government is yours, wherever you live in the world, 
then pray to God about it. Do not get involved in politics. Christ said we are not of this world. Paul said we are citizens of heaven. Greek word there is polytuma. And you better learn that's what you are. You're violating God's own foreign policy if you get involved in politics like the pro-lifers do and like this first church of Los Angeles proving they wouldn't know the Bible if it bit them. You're giving a bad witness to Christ and you have absolutely no faith in Christ if you get all nervous about this NSA thing. Do you read me loud and clear? Peace out.